I'm out in the barn. I am milking Mia. And she just kicked over half my bucket. I got lazy today and didn't do the milk reservoir like I normally do. And I guess now I pay for it in my milk spillage. I'm going to be quite honest today and tell you that I haven't milked in, I haven't milked in over, no, I guess I did milk once last week. Last week was Thanksgiving and I think I'm actually, because of this, we have no milk. This might be enough for the children tomorrow for their oatmeal or cereal or whatever they decide to have. It's really hard to get motivated to come out and milk the cow in freezing temperatures. Well, way below freezing temperatures. Any time of day, it's freezing right now. It's so cold. So here we are. I need to go. I'm gonna go walk around the garden. Give myself a pep in my step. Cause if you are a gardener, fellow gardener, you know. I feel like even in the winter, the garden just brings such joy. And we found out some news today that isn't a sad deal and I'll share more about it later. But it's not too bad, we can recover. It's just gonna, it just puts a major, kind of destroys all of our plans that we thought we had and we were like set in stone. And I was feeling super good about the spring and everything it had to offer. And this kind of just kind of threw a, yank in my chain, kink in my chain. I don't know the expression, but it did that. So now I just need to regroup and go from there. Hi, Oli. That's our calf, Olaf. He's gotten huge, if you haven't seen him. Today is his three month, hello, Prim. Yes, Prim Rose, she likes to do some flower. We obviously had some overflowage with the, uh, water trough. But today's Olaf's three months, three month birthday. Right, Mia? Can you please stop? So I am gonna go spend some time in the garden. I'll probably just chill out and pray. Yes. She is still trying to come up with some grain for herself. She ate quite her share. Hop on out, Mia. And as I'm heading towards the house, the rag I just wiped her dirty teats down with, I accidentally dropped in the milk bucket. So now I shall give it to the chickens because they will love it. I have a few that keep escaping. And one naughty rooster that we kicked out. So, come here dudes, here, some milk, there you go, kitty, chickens, whoever the heck wants it, yo. I just texted Trey to bring home a gallon of milk, first time in over three months that we've had to buy some milk, but one thing, the grass, we got no grass right now, I am not separating the calf. And I haven't been milking for over a week, so all these things play a major factor in her milk supply. But also I would have had a good half gallon if we wouldn't have kicked half of it over and I wouldn't have put that rag in, so. All those things play a factor in everything, but, and if I would have been milking all last week, we wouldn't be out of milk, so I have nobody to blame but myself. Also in other news, the ice rink has been really fun. The kids come out every day. I come out most days, but it is got some snow on it. You can see all the fun that we've been having out here. The end part right there is, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it leaked out or if it, I don't know what happened, but it's super thin and not great. I have so much thought and prayer and planning that needs to go into this big market garden for next year. I thought I had a plan and now I just don't know. I just don't know what we're doing, how we're gonna do it. 
lots of prayer, lots of planning, lots of prayer to figure it out. We have so much usable space in here and I feel like God didn't bring us this far down the road to just leave us here. So we just gotta adjust and figure it out. And figure it out we will. Because that's all the choices we have. But she's wild and crazy now. And the garlic's been put to bed. I don't know if I showed that. Got a row here and a row up there. Why did I do that again? I don't Oh, the kale was still there and that bed needs weeded. So, off topic. But this is the bane of my existence. And I love to see it die, but I know it'll come back with a vengeance. It's this tubular focus <laughs> cat. It's this tubular grass. And hi. This is apricot. This is Flash's mama. Hello, sweet girl. Hello. Mm -hmm. Um, this tubular grass, I don't know what it's called. We call it, I call it wire grass just because the root is like a matted, disgusting mess. And it's almost impossible to get out of. Um, this is the bed that has it. Uh, looks like that bed has a little bit of it too. So I think I just need to silage tarp it next year and try that. Silage tarp it for maybe like a month in the early spring. And I can easily not use these two beds to begin with just to get it out but this grass you can see you can see it all along in here okay well this was when we prepped the bed the first time it was chock full of it so thick so disgusting and then we had planted it and i had to mow it down and then i came back through with two layers of cardboard of so a cardboard box that is collapsed I didn't flatten it completely. I left it with the two layers. So four layers of cardboard total. And it's still growing through. <laughs> it, aren't you sweet? So now I just need to come back through and either silage tarp it or put down a crap ton more cardboard. But I'm thinking because cardboard didn't work exactly the first time that I should just, uh, I'll probably silage tarp it and cardboard it just hopefully really kill it out if we have some it's not really bad in most of these beds until you get back towards the back towards the greenhouse then it gets bad again so figure it all out all right guys so that's it for this video i will catch you on the next one i have a goal for myself to upload every other day for the month of december see how that goes so not quite a vlogmas but a vlogish miss. How about that? I'll see you guys in a couple days. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.